Hello, I'm Bill Sklodowski, and it's time for iPhone Friday, <laughs> uh, where every Friday at this time we've got the latest uh, iPhone goodies for you. Uh, I hope you were with us Wednesday. We are back to doing What's New Wednesdays, and also, of course, we're continuing with uh, iPhone Friday. Today, uh, if you've ever w wondered if there was a nice little shortcut or how do I not type a whole bunch of letters when I'm trying to either write my name or my address or something like that and it's, you know, just I'm typing the same thing over and over again, well, stick around because we have a great um, little bit of training today using uh, the text replacement feature on your iPhone. So, if you don't know me, my name is Bill Sklodowski. I teach uh, computers and uh, iPhone, iPad stuff uh, here locally where I live in Southwest Florida. Uh, to adult education classes and that sort of thing, and I provide local PC tech support services. But what I really like is being with you twice a week to uh, talk about all the cool things you can do with your iPhone. So we help teach folks to, as it says there, get the most out of your high-tech life. Okay, so let's dig right in. As I was talking about, uh, today we're going to be uh, focusing on a feature in your iPhone that's called text replacement. What does that mean? Well, if there's something you type a lot, um, you type it often, maybe your name, maybe your address, maybe your email address, who knows? Uh, those are the big three and those are the ones that I really focus on the most. Um, you know, you can set a text shortcut that all you have to do is type two or three letters and the phone will see that and replace it with any other text you choose, okay? So for me, with a name like Bill Sklodowski, that's a lot of typing. And my uh, odds of making a mistake with my big fat fingers on my little small iPhone are pretty high. So I go in and I make a replacement for that. Or you could do it with your email address or whatever. And the good news, the cool thing is that once you have created that text replacement, it's called a snippet. We'll get to that in a second. But once you've created that little snippet, you can use it anywhere on your phone, and I mean anywhere. Text messages, email messages, Facebook posts, uh, uh, notes, you name it. Anywhere you can type on your phone, you can use the text replacement to put in that text, and it'll always be spelled right, and it'll always have the right capitalization and all that. So, how do we do it? Well, let's head over to the phone, shall we? All right, first of all, let's get rid of this guy, and then head over to the phone, and there we go. This is going to be under settings, which is the um, big silver gear there on the second line. Um, if you haven't noticed, by the way, if you uh, hadn't noticed or if you haven't checked into settings lately, uh, Apple just came out with another little small incremental update this week. Um, they're kind of been doing a lot of this stuff lately, and I haven't really heard why, but I don't know, maybe the phone's just getting ready for the next big update because... I think in less than a month, they're going to release the next big version of the iPhone software, iOS, which is iPhone operating system or iPad operating system, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, I believe that is coming up, well, certainly before the end of summer. All right, so with all that in mind, let's head over to settings. And if you're not on that page, you should be, because this is where it all starts. Now, depending, sometimes if you're in a particular setting... Like if I'm on notifications, for example, or something like that, and I close settings and I come back and tap on that settings icon again, well, sometimes it will just return me right to where I left off. So that confuses folks sometimes. But just be aware that always in the upper, upper, upper left corner of the, of the screen is the uh, arrow and the name of the page that comes before this one. Okay, so if I want to return to the main settings page, you can see up in the upper left there that it says settings, so I tap on settings, and there I am. And if you're still not sure, by the way, it says it right at the top of the page, it says settings, and if I scroll all the way up to the top, big settings in, in big type. So we know we're in the right place. Okay, so, and I think we had uh, a whole video on navigating around in the control panel and in settings a long time ago. I'll have to dig that out and repost it. Scrolling down to general, that's the one, it looks just like the settings icon. It's the, it's the one, general right there at the top, it's got the gear on it. 
and then from the general settings, scroll down a bit more and find keyboard. Right there, keyboard, right under date and time, all right? So there's a ton of things you can change in here as far as if the phone will automatically do things like automatically capitalize the first uh, letter of a sentence or automatically correct spelling as you type or automatically do what it calls smart punctuation, which puts in the double quotations and the print, all kinds of crazy things, okay? Those are all cool and those are all good for another, uh, you know, another day. But what I'm looking for is right up near the top where it says text replacement, okay? So tap on text replacement and here we are. Now, these are some of the ones that I have already created. So I've already created one for a my email address and I've already created one for uh, PC tech support down there, you see, and my phone numbers and all kinds of other things. So if there's something that you type often, and I'd suggest you start with your name or your email address, just you know, because you type that a lot, obviously. It all starts with the plus sign up in the upper right corner up there, okay? So tap on that, when you're ready to create a new one, tap on that plus sign and you go to this text replacement screen, right? So there's two things you have to fill in. And number one is the phrase, which is the thing that you want the phone to type out for you. And the other one is the shortcut, which is literally just gonna be the couple of letters that you type to, and the fancy word would be, I think, invoke the uh, text. Is that the right word? Are you English teachers out there, let me know. But anyway, if I were to create something or if I were to uh, uh, come up with a phrase that I do often, all right, let's say like, um, I'm here, my favorite, right? You already know where this is going. I know you do. I know you know where this is going. I'm, guess what? Bringing pizza, <laughs> right? And I can even, I can put, I can put exclamation, I can put anything in there. I can put letters and numbers and symbols. You can put your email address with the at sign. You can do the whole thing. Now the question is, what's the shortcut going to be? And here's the one little thing you have to be careful of. Make sure it's not something you wouldn't, you would type normally as a word. Like if I have my full email address, I can't use the word email as the shortcut because if I type in email, it will, if I want to type email, it's gonna change that every time. So it needs to be something that's unique and different and not a real word. Pretty simple, right? So I'm bringing pizza. I'm gonna say the shortcut's gonna be I-B-P, which stands for I'm bringing pizza. Clever, right? And then when you're done, up at the top, up at the upper left there is the save button. Make sure you tap on save, okay? So now you can see it's listed there. These are in alphabetical order. So there's my new one, IBP, I'm bringing pizza. Awesome. What can I do with it? Well, the answer is everything. If I'm sending a text message or an email or a, a, a Facebook post, like I said, or writing a note or anything like that, I can use that instead of doing the typing. So if I'm sending a text message to somebody, let's, uh, let's create a new message and we'll send it to this Bill guy. All right, there he is. And all I want to say is, uh, you know, uh, I'm coming to the party and I B O I B P. Now you'll notice, look what happens there. The automatic, the, mm, the auto suggest down at the bottom already knows that I B P stands for I'm bringing pizza. Okay. So I can do two things here. All right. I can tap right on the text there, the I'm bringing pizza, and it will fill it out. Or you literally can just hit the space bar like I'm done with the word. So I, B, P, oh, I, I got to type it right. I, B, P, space bar, and it just automatically fills it in. Okay. So you can do it either way. Some things that uh, don't have that automatic, it's called predictive text. That's the fancy word for it. It's called predictive text. So if I'm writing a note, for example, all right, and I want to uh, create a new, let's go back and let's create a new note, all right? So I could do the same thing right here as the headline, I, B, P. It does show it at the bottom, but not everybody has that predictive text turned on and it doesn't matter. So if all I do is hit the space bar, boink, it fills it out. And like I said, this works everywhere. This works in email. This works in notes. This works when you're posting to your social media, whatever that might be. So again, let's go back to our 
settings and there it is it's under it's under settings and general and text and keyboards and text replacement and all you got to do is you have to type in what you want it to say under the phrase up there right and it could be a paragraph it doesn't matter it can be a full paragraph with letters and numbers and 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 special characters you know it's exclamation at signs all that stuff and then you give it a shortcut and again the important thing with the shortcut and this is this is really important is it can't be a real word because if you type the real word then every time you type that real word it's going to it's going to fill it out with that you know replacement that phrase that you have typed in and you're going to be frustrated so don't do that okay so that's text replacement for today now there's a couple of other things in there auto capitalization auto correct caps lock things like that i think that's another thing for another day so we'll we'll handle that at another time i wanted to keep this brief and as always kind of on point and focused to one big thing that you can work on so with that in mind i have been working away like crazy on the website at billsklodowski.com. I would invite you over to take a look at it and uh, look around. And if you like what you see, leave a comment on one of the videos or whatever. I post all of these videos that I'm doing. They get posted to my YouTube channel and they also get posted to the blog at billsklodowski.com. And if you look at the, at the blog page, up at the top, there's a menu and there's a whole section that just says iPhone Friday videos. And it's all the iPhone Friday videos that have been done. And then there's another one for What's New Wednesday. And it's, you guessed it, all the What's New Wednesday videos that have been done. Now, right on the front page, and this is important, right on the front page of the, of the uh, website, uh, right by the big picture in the front, is a button that says, get all the free handouts and, you know, never miss a video kind of a thing, right? And what that's going to ask you to do is sign up for our newsletter. And it's totally free and you just put your name in and an email address here's by the way here's what the page looks like when you get there it's uh you know get every tip sheet and see all the new videos okay so as you know if you've been watching it all every time i do one of these videos either a what's new wednesday or an iphone friday i also come up with a little tip sheet or a handout or whatever you want to call it i'm an old school teacher so i call them a handout right i would never I would never dream of going into a class without something to give to people to say, here's what we're studying today. Here's the handout for the day. So if you have a better idea of what I should call it, I'm open to suggestions. But for now, let's just go with handout, okay? I know you're not in class, but I get it. So what will happen is, put your, oh, let me get rid of this uh, picture here, because there you go, you can see what it looks like now. So you'll buy, all you gotta do is first name, email address. That's all you got to put. Okay. And then you'll be on our list. And every weekend, usually on a Sunday, I send out a weekly recap email, right? And that is in case you've missed the past week's What's New Wednesday video or iPhone Friday video, it will tell you what they were and it'll have a link to them on the blog. So you can just click on it and go right and watch it. And along with that, it also has a link to the handout. So if you watch the video and you'd like the handout for today on how to do the text replacement thing, well, that's not online yet, but it will be by the weekend. So all you got to do is sign up for the email and it will automatically be sent to you. You don't have to ask specifically down here in the comments or whatever, you know, that's, that's so last century. <laughs> so anyway, go to the website, click on the big, you know, the, the button on the front page says, click me, I think, or something like that. And you'll come to this page. And I just want you to see what it looks like so you're not surprised, you know, when you get there. Put in an email address, hit the big get the cheat sheet button there at the bottom, and automatically you will get every weekend the list of what the videos were for the past week and also the handouts. There's always going to be one for iPhone Friday. There may or may not be one. Uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to the what's new Wednesday one, they don't always have um, they don't always have a handout. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. All right, that's going to do it for this week. Uh, have yourself a great weekend. Stay safe out there. Um, keep washing your hands. <laughs> keep wearing your mask if you go to the store or whatever. Although some states I know are changing on that, so I have to be careful what I say. But stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you next week. If you have questions or comments, by the way, if there's something you have a question about and you'd like more information, feel free to drop it below here on Facebook or on the blog. I, I read and respond to all the comments. So if there's something you would like some more information about, I am happy to uh, help you figure it out. We've already answered some questions on our videos as well. So uh, we'll, we'll continue to do that. All right. 
Thanks again. We'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.